Relay offers us a great opportunity to do something for Brooke um, and with the greater communities. So we love all coming together at the Relay every year and participating and doing the activities together and remembering her every year together. Brooke had been diagnosed with cancer in April of 2010. She ended up having two surgeries in December and then another one at the end of January. So, you know, things were really tough. She had wanted to raise money when she first found out that she had cancer. So she and my sister started a Relay for Life team. And we all asked our friends and Brooke asked all of her girlfriends and we ended up with about 35 team members that first year. Brooke had a sarcoma of the brain. It was a primary cancer in the brain. And it was very aggressive, very rare, and very hard to treat. Dr. Petreka's uh, glioblastoma is, is one of the cancers that he looks at. So we just thought, whatever he figures out, you know, it could work for another kind of brain cancer. So we're rooting for him. <laughs> The focus of the Innovation Grant is to really take some work that we've been developing for the last 10 years on identifying targets that drive brain cancer invasion through the normal brain. And this grant is actually funding the very late stage preclinical development uh, with the hopes of moving the drugs that we've developed into clinical trials. I always love to meet donors. It's always inspiring to me. Illness, especially in a young person, can be uh, handled in many, many different ways, but when a, a, a family or a group turns uh, something very, very negative into a positive to help other people, that's extremely inspiring and it's, it's, it, it drives us. Thank you to Brooks Donkeys, uh, all of their supporters, and the Canadian Cancer Society. If we could tell our donors anything, uh, it would be thank you times a million. We cannot be more grateful for the sound support that we have from everyone we know and we're so eternally grateful for everything they've done for us.